The Exorcist, Season 1, Episode 1, Chapter 1, And Let Me Cry Come Unto Thee. People murmuring, baby crying, people continue murmuring, 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 fade, boy grunting, moaning faintly, dog panting, low growling, barking, barking continues, boy screaming distance, breaking, Barking continues in distance. Boy screaming, panting in distance. Boy screaming. Barking continues. Barking growls louder. Boy howling. Thomas, now, Peter, we, ne- we never miss a chance to show off. He sees Jesus walking across the water. He says, you know something? I better can do that. And so Jesus tells him, can get out the boat. Start walking. Microphone, feedback, hum. Sorry, guys. Huh? Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Can you hear me, guys? Feedback squeals. No. Okay. Clear his throat. So, Peter starts walking across the water. He's having a great time. Waving to some. Everyone chuckles. Except, again, this is Peter we're talking about. What did he do? He looks down. What do you think happens next? People chuckling. That's right, Lewis. He drops like a rock. Just like that. When well, Jesus grabs his arm, tosses him back into the boat, he says, What's wrong with you? I said that you could walk on water. Why didn't you believe me? It's okay to have doubted. It's okay to have questions. God wants you to find your own way. But sometimes, every now and then, God no, gives you a job to do. And when, what that, and when that happens, you have to drop everything and start walking. Sighs. Thanks. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Hey, Casey. How's your sister go, going, doing? She back home, right? Yeah, uh, she just got off, got, got her cast off last week. She's a lot of fun. Tuckles, tell her not to be a stranger. Okay, bye. Bye, Henry. Oh, yes. Father, that was a very, that was a lovely service. Oh, Casey, we don't have this, this hat. Didn't have his hat on. Ah, he went, you, you, we want you to have this. This is for you. Oh, for restoration. Angel, this is... No, no, no. It means a lot. Has somewhere to come that he's familiar with. Thomas, how's he doing? Oh, good days and bad. You want to talk to some time. My door is always open. Thank you, Casey. Dad? Cat? We've got donuts. Floorboards creaking. Cat? Quiet rumbling. Thump rumbling stops. Cat? I'm not hungry. Train rumbling outside, plates tinkling. Muted chatter over TV, knocking, knocking. TV continues, playing quietly. Door opens. Olivia, sorry. Thomas, hey sis. Olivia, inventory look. Took forever. Door closes, laughter over TV. Hey Lewis, sighs, buddy. Hey Lewis, your mum's here, chuckles. Oh, do you want to tell me what this is about? That's private stuff. Since when do you have Jessica writing your letters? Why are you even talking to her? She's my friend. She's married. Married people can't have friends. Do you know who writes letters? People don't want to get caught. Olivia, there's nothing to catch, okay? Nothing to catch. That's what you said the first time, Thomas. If you don't want me to be, if you didn't want to be a priest, you don't, then don't be a priest, but you can't keep doing this. Speak Spanish. Who said I don't want to be a priest? Lewis, mum? Hey, baby. Did you have fun? Yeah, come on. Oh, you you have your shoes on. Listen, I'm just saying, Abata, Abata isn't here anymore. There is no shame in saying, hey, I give it a shot. Hey, I'm not get, giving anything a shot, okay? I love my job. I'm good at my job. There's, there's nothing going on with Jessica. Promise? Yeah, I swear on this. Greasy, amazing pizza you're going to have right now. I don't want any. Olive and Thomas, Olivia and Thomas laugh. You're an idiot. Okay, what do you say to Uncle Thomas? Thanks. Oh, see you, buddy. Hey. Bye. Thank you. Great squeal softly. Soul music playing over radio in distance. Twist your hips from side to side. Music, soul music continues. Get your hands hanging high. Are you ready? Music stops. Francis, Marcus, 
a long way from Rome. Ah, glad you noticed, considering it's your fault. No one's heard from you in 26 days, I'm aware. You're also aware the church has places for those who would disobey a direct order. You're going to be up to partnership in it. Is it my, is my, if my hand is false without hesitation, this cannot continue, Marcus. These people are scared, scared. You have forgotten Haiti. They are tied a bitch around that girl's neck. Hang over the branches of the mango tree. I remember Haiti. Well, we did nothing. I trust you made progress. And every day is progress. The power's in repetition. That's very poetic, Marcus. To even commentator speaking Spanish. Boy panting raggedly. TV commentator shouting excitedly. Mental rattling. Boy growls. What have you done? My job. Your job? A child is going to die. It's a strong boy. I can bring him back. That is far beyond protocol. Your protocol, not mine. This shit ends now. I'm taking that boy to a hospital, Bennett. You would shoot me? I had a boy needs my help. I won't abandon him. Rome will not forgive this. Marcus, is not their forgiveness I seek? Fan rattling quietly. Sniffles, speaking Spanish. Boy hisses. Quantus quae, lo quanta, coralia vez. Gabriel, come back to me, come back to me. Lo growling, come back, Tullius quel letra. Mr. Rattling, God has not abandoned you. Dominic voice, Marcus, Marcus. Lo growling, where is this place? Screams. Freely will I offer you sacrifice. Every unclean spirit, every satanic power, every onslaught of the eternal anniversary. Hello. We command you be gone. Dominic Roar. Can you hear me? And fly far from the church of the God squeals. Please can you hear me? Growling. Dominic Voice. Marcus. Growling. We command you. Dominic Voice. Marcus. Train breaks. Squealing outside. Fred over phone. And everything's going to un- under control. Okay, book expo. Palmer, you're going to try and grab the book, booking Fred the Palmer. Will we, when do we worry about, about Palmer, Angela? Yes. Go be with your family. Angela groans. Angela, fine, go, go. Okay. TV playing quietly. Quite thump. Four bill creaks. Thump. The port of decision comes after years of pressure from banks, which really evaluate your capital requirements as onerous. Our opponents of higher standard have also argued quite thumping, whispering voices, wall rattling softly, whispering voices, quite rumbling. Mum, rumbling stops. Hey, hun, are you all right? How is practice fine? Practice fine, chuckles, good. Door opens. Casey, oh my God. Is everyone in this family allergic to light? Dinner's ready. Oh, what's that smell? Is that you? Do you what do you want? I just caught my own crying, so that wasn't weird. Mm, I'm sure there was a, that was an accident. You're so mean to her. She only climbs up on your cross. She wants some attention. Who does that sound like? Hey, we're playing the poor on Friday. You want to... Wanted to, you know, someday possibly leave this room. Pa. There'll be guys there. Hard pass. Do you realise this pity party thing? Stop being cute when you're like 14. What do you care? Because you're my stupid sister. I, I also, for real, I'm really hungry. Go eat without me. That's, that's one option. Oh, Chuckles. Is that the is that the tickle monster? Don't Casey, because he's coming going to stop. Don't do it. He said he just wants to say hi. Get don't. Oh my God! It's a smile. She's smiling. Stop it! Stop it! She remembers how to smile. I'm not kidding. You're laughing. I'm serious. I'm going to tell Mum you're laughing. I'm not laughing. Giggles. Yeah, you are laughing. Stop it! Laughing. Organ playing. Tools whirling. Hammering tools. Continuing whirling. Organ beeps. Music stops. It's froze up again. I'm on it, Mrs. Finley. I'm on it. I told you I can't work this thing. Tia, Tara, have you seen the instruction book for, for the organ? I think Miss Finley has it. Sighs. Deep. It says, Arr, I'm coming, Miss Finley. I'm coming. Aye, groans. Man, sorry. Door creaks. Sighs. Oh, this is quite, quite thumping. 
pipes rattling softly, quiet thumping continues, sighs, electronic whirling, both gasps. I'm so sorry, Father. They said you were down here. Oh, it's fine, it's fine, it's just, uh, it's fine, both sigh. Could I, could I speak with you? Yes, Angela. So you're going to think I'm, uh, I was talking to you, Angela. Please wait, okay. My daughter Kathleen, she's back from school. She took a leave. Car accident or something, someone died. Uh, her friend. Ever since she got back to the hospital, she's different. The way she talks, the way she looks at me. She lost her friend, it's normal. It's not depression, I know depression. There are things going on in the house, my house. I come down in the morning, and all the chairs have been moved away from the table. The bookshelves, all the books are on the floor. Well, maybe Henry, it's not Henry. There are voices inside the walls. We know, have his fan back home. And suddenly, in the middle of the night, it starts to make a strange sound. Ah, chaka ta chaka ta chaka ta It's something inside my house. Angel, I, I know this sounds, I know how this sounds. But I have four employees under me. I'm not a crazy person. No, I'm not saying you're crazy. Ah, uh, it's a demon. A demon? He's trying to take up my daughter. And the demons aren't very, aren't real. The invention of church is playing things like addiction, mental illness. They're not mon- they are not monsters or creatures. Demons are metaphors. Do you think I don't know that? Do you have any idea how embarrassing it is to sit here and sound like this? But I tell you, something is going on. There's a presence. I feel it. I'm not even trying to convince you to believe me. Just come to the house. Just talk to her. Will you? Sighs, yes. Screams, oh my God. Raven screeching. Oh my God. Screeching, panting. Train making, squealing doors. It's open gat. Clean my mum put you up to this. You can go ahead and tell her I'm fine. I'm well aware of the fact that everyone thinks I'm this fragile little ornament. But I'm fine. I'm dealing how are you, are you sleeping? What? Any bad dreams? I don't dream. Not ever? No. What about? What is this about? Sighs. You ever believe your house has been visited by a presence? A demon laughing? Oh my God. It's sales. That's hysterical. It's sales. You know what's going on here, right? I like my fa- friend's stupid Wiccan craft store on Facebook. So she thinks I'm going out drinking round both or something. Do you know how embarrassing that is? She's very worried about you. She's losing her mind. You see my dad? What's he like? Uh, what, uh, what he's like? Yes. I was Christmas. You were taking ballroom de- de- classes together. Now she's got to check his ass every time he goes to the bathroom. Sighs. A whole life blew up. Going, looking for someone to blame besides God. Is that who? So who you blame when things go wrong? No. I blame myself. Because that's what... You, you do when you're an adult. And you're very, 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 thank you very, very much. Thank you. This is, this is great. No, it's boring, old made of meal meatloaf. Haven't made a meal in, made a meal in months. Really good, mum. And well, I kind of burnt the edges rusty. I like burnt edges. I like gristle for the gums. The gristle for gums. How's a boat, Henry? How's that what? That? A boat. You fix it up? He's talking about your boat, Henry. You're wasting your time. It's basically a potato cat. Should we get dessert? Kathleen, what's wrong with you? That's your father, really? Does that look like Dad to you? Dad, Dad. Hello, Dad. Kathleen. Thomas, you know, I had an advisor back in cemetery. He was called to give the last rites of his throat to a young woman in a coma. She was brain dead. No hope of recovery. So she go, goes there. He does his thing. And then, but the next day she wakes up. The miracle, that's wonderful. But here's the thing, the woman could remember conversations that place inside a room while she was in a coma. Which suggests, I don't know, to me anyway, that even when the rest of the body shuts down, there's some part of the brain that stays awake, aware, knows everything's going on, to so keep the damn hands off his face. Door slams, man smiles, laughs over TV. Man, nice top hand, Austin. Man too, good job. Man, sweet Austin, I don't want to let go. Man too, it's dumb. Way, well, Henry, I've taken off. Hey, thanks for coming. Oh, it's it. Thanks for talking to Cat. I know Andrew's been yeah, been a rough couple of months. She, she's a good kid. Yes, yeah, she is. Thank you. Before steps departing, just off forty one. Just off forty one. Saint Echoes chuckles. What is that? 
What's that? St. Echoist. Father Marcus. Father Marcus? Hey, who's Father Marcus? Hey, thanks for coming. Thanks for talking to Cat. Train rate squeal. Dogs barking distance. Demonic voice. Marcus. Howling Granny. Marcus playing urgently. Forgive us our trespasses. And forgive those who... Demonic voice. Marcus. Little boy accent. Marky boy. Where's your lad? I command you, unclean spirit, along with all your missionaries, attacking his servant God by the mysteries of the incarnation, the passion, the resurrection, and the ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ, by the coming of a child for judgment. Will you tell me by some sign your name and the day, the hour of your departure? To my voice babbling. The hour of your departure? The hour of your departure? Baptist, quiet snarl. To my voice, not long now. Parker's panting, boy wheezing, and Jesus said, Come to me, you who are weary, the burden of coughs. I'll give you rest. Coughing, deep croaking laugh, metal rattling, growling, whispers, Gabriel, Gabriel. Demonic voice, look upon me, Marcus. Bones crack, groaning. Oh no, oh no, please God, please God. Groaning, bones crackling. Neck snaps, oh God, no, sobbing, sobbing loudly. Church bells tolling, man, you look, look lost, son. Crows calling in the distance high. You, you, are you talking to me? Chuckles, yeah. Got a name? That'd be your, that would be your hand. Oh, Chuckles, sorry. Well, that's all right. Uh, Thomas, Father Thomas, and aunties. How do you know that? How do you, how who do you think says you all those wonderful fundraising letters you throw straight into the trash? I can tell you the name of every priest and, from here, Mesick County. But you, oh, I've heard about you, Father Thomas. Whispers of Whispering and Raging Star. I don't know about that. Oh, you happen to know. Bishop speaks very finely of you. Says you're exactly the sort of man we need to, right now. Speaks Spanish sighs. So what brings you to our humble home, huh? I laugh, look, looking for some answers. But you have the right question, laughs. What's the right question? What, what, what now, God? Give me a purpose. Point me in a direction. Take, make me a divine instrument. Once you ask him that, you're surprised how much the old guy has to say. Now what, God? Like, just like that. Chuckles, hmm? Cool, calling a distance. Sorry. Hmm? Take care now. Classic music. Pop music playing. Great and miracle. Send it out. An angel like you. When we met, I knew it. Right from the start. You were meant for me. We may never part. It's a miracle, miracle, Father Marcus. Heaven has created a uh, music stops. What do you want? My name is Fa- Thomas Agara. Father, Father, Father Thomas from Andes. I'm from, f- from Chicago. What do you want? Can you tell me, tell me about demonic possession doesn't exist? Enjoy your drive home. I told you an exorcist. Who exactly told you that? Does it matter? Yeah, I think it does. It's you. What do you want? Exorcism doesn't, does it work? Go to church, yeah, couldn't you? You don't come here for voice, did you? Thomas Thomas from Andes, Chicago. You came for help. What is, who is it? A girl in my parish, maybe. So, why maybe come to me? I had a dream, dreams, and it's the same dream, and you were in it. Oh, come on. It was a child tried to bed. They called him Gabriel, one else. It was that, there was a newspaper in the window, a broken crib on the floor. A boy looks died his neck. Tell me something that was on the news. There were in, if you're in a room, would you say I don't believe you? You don't believe I don't believe you, Thomas. You are if you're in the room, did you see? To, go you go told it go told him when that's right, go on. Eight months ago Mosco said he was real. Oh yeah, now you believe let me guess that God was brought you here to my door. Anything that I know is something somehow there be there would be a type of coincidence, Thomas. God for forever reference isn't one who works in mysterious ways. Being manipulated, my friend, by forces that can't even begin to understand. You gotta look gonna love oh, they gotta love you. They? Who are they? An excellent question, Door Creeks. Go home, Father Thomas. Give your homies break give you homies. Break your bread. Live a long and happy life. Your way out of your depth, you're afraid. Yeah, you should go too. And Jesus said, "Come to me. You are weary and bur- burdened. I will, can't, I will give you rest." Cloak ticking, door creaks shut. 
Oh, all this time, all this time, and this is what you send me? This is your dome sign. Slow, ragged breathing, knocking, slow, ragged breathing continues. Loud knocking, crickets chirping, Father Thomas. Sigh, sigh, do you believe in God, Angela? Wow. Get right to the good stuff. Uh, I like the idea of God. Oh, I want to believe good things happen for a reason. We're not just a bunch of molecules smashing into each other. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. What about you? Well, if you talk to other priests, they will tell you they heard God's voice, his actual voice calling them to serve. I never had that. Do you know I was born in Chicago, right down in the streets, down the street. I did not know that. When my parents separated, Olivia and my sister, she stayed here. I went to Mexico to live, my grandmother. She told me all the big plans she had for me. She would say, you watch, my lord. You watch, and someday you become the first Mexican Pope. Both chuckled. Makes us all proud, huh? Mm. It always used to bother me that I never heard God's voice. I would say, maybe he never wanted me in the first place. Maybe. Maybe I don't belong here. I think God spoke to me today. What did he say? He said, I want you to look at this family. Speak softly. I want you to help them, Thomas. This is your purpose, the sniffles. Sorry, this is why you're here. Thump, girl screams, thumping, loud rolling. Ragged breathing, walls rattling softly. Ragged breathing, rattling continues, loud thud. Oh, anybody up there? Ragged breathing, Catherine. Loud uh, growling. What are you doing here? Catherine? Growling, growling, chuckling. Bottle growls, clinks. Oh, rat squealing, bones crackling. Bones snapping, rat squeals. Footsteps running. Low growling, Casey, Casey, growling, grunting. Casey, stop. Father. Panting, hey mum, what are you go doing up here? Father Thomas killed a rat, whacked it with his book. How bad is that a rat? You should get some more, some traps. Oh yeah. Don't they say that there's one there, there's probably a whole bunch. Panting, the Xmas theme playing.